Jensen and an officer have been suspended over that encounter with Sterling Brown that led to his arrest. The police chief is answering questions today for the first time. We have team coverage from downtown Milwaukee. Let's start with Theo Keith, who spoke to the police chief today. Bev, we showed up to City Hall this morning looking for some answers. Who were these officers? How were they disciplined? And what department rules did they even break? The chief has not been clear about that. He promised transparency today, but says he is legally barred from providing the answers. If you believe that I'm not taking this case seriously, you're mistaken. Chief Alfonso Morales finally answers questions, albeit briefly, about the Sterling Brown incident that has made national headlines. He had come here to City Hall for a Q&A with state lawmakers from Milwaukee. City staff blocked access to the meeting. The chief indicated that none of the three officers involved had been fired, saying they will be retrained. Oh, absolutely retraining. But here's the biggest and one of the things that I brought up in when I was campaigning for this position is leadership. This is leadership. Two Democrats say retraining isn't enough, especially for the first officer who confronted Brown outside of Walgreens at 26th and National in January. I think that guy should be fired. It's clear that he is escalating the situation. It's clear that he called in half a dozen police officers to further escalate the situation. Asked why the body camera video wasn't made public for four months, the city's new fire and police commission director says it couldn't have been done any sooner. It cannot be released pending, pending an investigation, and there was one pending up until uh, a few days ago. Some lawmakers say people less famous than an NBA player should be getting this level of attention too. I want it for the person yeah. who when they're standing there and they look like Uncle Boo Boo, I want you to do it for Boo Boo. So what is this legal issue that is barring the chief from talking about this much more publicly? He says these officers, the two sergeants and the one officer who were suspended, well, they could appeal that discipline and he's got to wait until that works out. Live from downtown, Theo Keith, Fox 6 News. Much more to come on this one. Thank you, Theo. And